Here's another uh, practice plan where we want to focus on pitchers throwing bullpens. Uh, if I'm going to do this plan, I definitely want a priority to be on, on these pitchers throwing to the catchers. Now, I do have second baseman out here, and they're working with a different coach. But when I do this, I tell them that the last guy in line, the last guy in line should be heads up for a runner call. So if at any moment a coach yells runner, this catcher could throw to that second baseman covering. So although we are doing bullpens to catchers, we do want to give our catchers an opportunity to throw. Uh, in addition to that, we have a coach over here to, uh, on the first base side of, of, uh, of the plate, and he's hitting ground balls to, to all potential infielders' backhand throw. We're trying to simulate that throw as far as possible. Uh, potentially, if you can make it work, potentially you could add the shortstop. My concern is when uh, we have this throw coming into third base, I don't necessarily want short stops over here. So uh, these are just ground ball reps to second baseman. You can take them all over. Uh, you can certainly stress them out with a backhand ball. They are, in fact, throwing to first base. Then you've got another coach here down the third base line pretty far, hitting fly balls to the outfield. Uh, you can include ground balls but they are making throws to third base. Now, there is, there is some, um, some, some responsibility for a third baseman here. This third baseman cannot let these throws get by him. One of my biggest pet peeves is a third baseman that lacks the courage to knock that ball down. So here's another uh, practice routine that we'll use. Again, it's, uh, this one you can be done with uh, two coaches, but three is, is um, generally perceived to be better.